Hello, 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 hello. How are we all doing? I am in an absolute topper of a mood right now. Hold on, now you got my sound settings. You know the best thing about having OBS Studio and the fact that it has the new uh, audio beta? It's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's not even pick up YouTube. Oh, god damn it. Okay. That's fine. Anyway, hello everybody, how are we all doing? Rieger, Lord Squiggles. <laughs> Alright Merrick, how you doing pal? Hello Ash, how are you doing? Rob Glasgow, Tony Strucker, hello, hello Marco, how you doing man? Darren Lee, good evening Mr. Fudo. If you're lurking, I'm always lurking dude, I'm always lurking. 13 Bravo, hello sir, how are you doing? How are you and the missus doing? Mr. Zach, I see you there, and Mr. Dank, hello, 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 hello. Right. We're going to be playing some scum tonight. I woke up late tonight. Or wait, late today. Like, genuinely late. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream today because I'm actually dying right now. <laughs> but it's alright because I'm alive now. And I've just realised I've not got any water with me so I might have to go get some water. Do you guys not mind me going and getting some water? I'm sure you don't. I'll be back in just two seconds. After I'm back, we'll get straight into the game, okay? Give me two seconds. All right, I'm back. I'm here. I'm here. No, no water for you. Fuck you, Ash. Beer? No, we can't be doing a drunk stream. We can't be doing a drunk stream. A drunk stream for me is terrible. That's a, that's that's like the worst idea that you could ever conceive with a person like me. I don't get drunk very easily. I need to drink quite a substantial amount. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We ain't doing that. Also, I think my scum's just crashed. I don't, I hope it's not. Why? Why have you frozen, sir? Oh, failed to connect. Okay, we'll, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way, I suppose. Oh, Connell, how you doing, pal? How's things? How's it going? Right, we should be joining very mo- We should be joining momentarily. Come on, let me in. I may have to restart scum. I might have had it on too long, or or something's happened. I don't. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to connect to this. It's not allowing. It's not allowing me. Just kind of odd. Fail to connect. Right. We'll restart. We'll restart. Scum. 
We'll just restart our scum. Am I late for Feudal's OnlyFans opening live stream? <laughs> I don't have an OnlyFans. I have an Only Helmets. <laughs> it's an Only Helmets. I'm doing good, O'Connor. Doing good. Doing good. Went a walk. Feel much better. Uh, got lots of stuff done. Got stuff out the road. So I'm pretty happy. Good morning. Checking in before work. Hello, Melanie. How you doing? Right. We're relaunching, scum. We're getting about it. Getting about it. Right, come on, come on. Hello, Tristan. How you doing, man? I'm doing quite good. Uh, I went, I went a walk today. I kind of, I, I woke up kind of late today because I did a leg day yesterday and I was completely destroyed. Um, I was doing cluster sets on the leg extension, leg press, hack squat, Bulgarian squats, calf raises, all that kind of cool stuff. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Zach, I know it's not working because I'm still building it. <laughs> it's fucking. What do you think this is? Right, please. Right, I think we're connecting now. I think we're connecting, ladies and gents. I think we're connecting. I suspect we are connecting. Let's just see if we are actually connecting. As, as soon as we can hear the game world, we've connected. Come on, game. Come on, game. I was just in this, like, two hours ago. I was literally in this two hours ago. Come on. Show. Me. The money. <laughs> oh, come on. Show me this. Show me, show me, show me. Come on. It's taking a minute. Leg day for you tomorrow. Yeah, I had it yesterday. Big leg day yesterday. This is taking ages to connect. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. It's, I've, I've still, usually I would hear the game sounds by now, but nothing's, nothing's sounding off. Ooh, this is not good. Come on, game. Do as you're told. Come on. Get me in. <laughs> I, don't, I genuinely don't know what's going on right now. I connected to this server like... As I said two hours ago, just to check my character was still there and my character was still, you know, alive and stuff like that, still within the safe zone. Um, is this your first day? No, it's the game's first day, no, cut not a case. It's the, it's the fucking game's first day. It's not my first day. It's like my how long have I been fucking doing this for? Ten years or something like that? I don't know. This server don't want you. Oh no, I oh, know, I oh, know. It's taking its time, man. What's going on? Like, legit, it's not, it's literally not connecting me. Right, I'm going to just Alt F4 this. And I'm going to verify my game files, which means we'll be sitting here for, like, another, another few minutes. Another few, wow. Scum is on power usage very high right now. 10% of my CPU and, like, almost 25% of my overall memory. Right, we'll just, we'll just kill that for a second because it, it might have just bottlenecked. It may have just bottlenecked. It could be just that. Right, I'm just going to double check there's nothing else in the process queue. Right. I'm going to quickly verify my game files. In case it's something on my end. It shouldn't take me long. Verify integrity of game files. Yes. Oh, maybe update for scum server not up to date yet. No, there's been no update. There's been no update. There's no, there's no server update. The server updates occur when we get the hotfixes. A YouTube alert that actually worked first time catching this start of the stream. Yeah, David, we've got a wee bit of a... I think it's an old technical issue with either scum on my end or the server that I'm trying to connect, connect to. We have to turn it into a drunk stream if scum doesn't work. No! I need to work tomorrow. I need to go to my work tomorrow. You can't be making me drink. <laughs> Especially at this time. Also, all I've got is whiskey, rum... Uh, well, I've got like five different types of rum. I've got three different types of whiskies, and I don't have any beers. I think I've got a bottle of gin somewhere. I don't know where, but right now I'm on the water. You can I'm not. I'm not deterring from the water. I'm gonna peel at a racehorse after this. Right. Verify integrity of game files is done at about fifty percent right now, so we're halfway there. So hopefully this doesn't take too long.
Like, do you need that protein? <laughs> oh, tell me about it. I've been, I've been downing a drunk stream. No, Ash, we're not doing a drunk stream. A lot of people wish I would do a drunk stream, but I'm not doing it. This beef, beef jerky is so good. Jack Links protein snacks, really good. Teriyaki flavored. Mm mm mm. Whiskey tasting in review stream. <laughs> oh, Riga, come on, man. Just one small whiskey for me. I can't, dude. I can't. I can't. As much as I want to. I would have done it yesterday. Keelan Park. I do have Highland Park, actually, Merrick. Highland Park 25. Um, I think I've got, two, I've got two others that are not Highland Park. I've got, what the fuck have I got? I'll tell you in just a second. What have I got? I've got a Glen Fidditch 15, and I believe it's a Dalmore 12. 12 year single malt. So I've got Highland Park 25, Glen Fidditch 15, 15 year old single malt, and a Dalmore. 12 year, uh, 12 year single malt. That's what I've got at the moment. Oh! All 711 files were successfully validated. Right. Kitty, we're not doing a drunk stream. <laughs> I refuse. Right. Let's try this. Ah, there you go. There you go. See? Don't you start your shit, Merrick. <laughs> Launching the game. Let's see what happens. I'm in still relatively high spirits, so... How's fishing going? Um, I was supposed to go today. I woke up at five o'clock. No, I woke up at half past six this morning. Went to the loo, came back and passed out until three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so yes, that's what I did today. <laughs> You still painting your Warhammer stuff? Of course, Lord Squiggles. Of course I'm still painting my, my, my Warhammer stuff. Of course I am. Right, what is taking this so long? Right, this is starting to annoy me. I may have to try a different server. I may have to try a different server. I don't know what's going on right now. That's one whiskey you really want to try. Which one? 13 Bravo. I mentioned three. <laughs> I did I did state that there was three there. Should do one soon for my birthday in May. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Caught your first trout today. Your first fish in like three months. Good stuff, man. You've been, oh, you've been doing Old World whilst watching my videos. Squiggles, that's cool, man. That's really cool. I really like the Old World stuff. I like the Bretonian Knights. I really like that. Feudal being banned. No, it's not that I've been banned. It's just it says I've got... I can't... I failed to connect. I don't know why I'm failing to connect to it. I don't quite... Oh, the Glen Fidditch, yeah. Oh, there's no errors coming up. There's honestly no errors coming up for me to say that, like... My scum just updated. It just updated. Right, let's go find out. Let's go and find out. Right, I'm gonna... There's no fucking... There's no... There's no updates still. There's honestly no updates. I'm telling you right now, there's no updates. Okay, there was an update for it. What is this? Content information. Oh, it was a Shader pre-caching update. That's all it is. No, the, ser the server's not full. The server is definitely not full. I can see it. I can literally see it. It's not full. Um, the, the scum update 
is uh, the scum update was just a ca cash update. Oh. Let me try a different server. Let me see if it's maybe just... Oh, there she is. Hello, Malka. How you doing? Xavier. Evening, Mr. F. How you doing today? We're doing good. We're doing good. Just having a wee bit of trouble with scum at the moment. I don't know what's going on. I want to go and play on the server that I've been playing multiplayer on. And it's just not letting me in, saying it's fail failing to connect. Um, what I might do is I might go and see what the issue might be. Um, yeah, a lot of people are saying that there was no, there was no update. There's honestly been no update. Right, let's try this one more time. If I if I can't get into where I want to get into. Right, hold on. Where's the version? Where's the version? Version 0 0.9.522.83442. So if I refresh this and I go to the server that I'm playing on, I, that should be the same. So See, see for, see for just my benefit right now. I'm just gonna do this in the in the chat because I want to see if it's actually the same. Eight, three, four, four, two. So that's the vi that's the version that the server's on. Zero point nine, point five, two, two, point eight, three, four, four. Ah, it's the same version. Update was about 30 megabyte. Yeah, so it was a it was a shader cache update. That's all it was. It wasn't anything anything you know great. It wasn't anything substantial. So it shouldn't cause us cause any issue to actually connect to the server. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much, pal. Uh, right, let's try. Right, let's try. Let's let's just let's <laughs> please let me in. Let me in. Let me in, yeah, rat. Come on, game. When's coming? Coming to Xbox? Uh, full release. It's not 1.0 yet. I don't know. Why are you asking me? Go ask the devs. I don't know this information. I don't own a console. Right, we're trying a connection. In fact, what I might do actually is go to Scum's. Uh, Discord and check if they're getting any sort of like anyone complaining that they can't actually connect to servers anymore. Okay, that's development news, scum general chat. Um, I have a whole fan art benchmarks. No, we're lo Oh, we're in. I think we're in. I just heard the game sounds. Ooh. I can hear the game. We might be in. Oh yes, we're in. Boys, we're in. We're in. We're in. <laughs> we're in. Right, let's get to the game. Let's get to playing. Oh, about fucking time. What's this about? What's this buffed MDev about? I missed the content. Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham, Merrick, pay attention, man. You're supposed to be the older one of the lot of us. <laughs> You're supposed to be paying attention. Right. So, does anybody want to know the story of why we call Miss Impossible Buff M? Does anybody want to know? Because I know the story firsthand and... It's quite interesting, and it's, it's, it's funny, it's funny. Right. The reason why we call Miss Impossible Buff M is because on one particular live stream where she was live streaming and Tyrone, uh, Tyrone Showlaces was streaming. I know the Buff M, but what's the, de oh, the dev part. Right, I'll tell I'll tell the original part why we call her Buff M. I'll I'll tell the original story. So as I was saying, 
um, there was a particular live stream. She was doing a live stream. Tyrone Shoelaces was doing a live stream. Tyrone Shoelaces pretty much said during a particular update, a particular hotfix, you could move the big white fridges across the map. You could move the fridges. You could literally take them out of the buildings and place them inside your base. You could do that at one point. But they obviously patched it out. But during this hotfix where you could do it, Tyrone Shoelaces pretty much said to Miss Impossible, why don't you try and move a fridge over to our base and we will accept it in exchange for whatever. He was joking. He was literally joking. He was simply just having a laugh. Miss Impossible, however, took this upon herself to drag. Like, she, she took it upon herself to do this the whole way. She was doing this the whole way. Like, with, imagine this is the fridge. This is what she was doing. She was dragging it, dragging it, and then moving it, dragging and moving it, dragging it and moving it, just like that. Right? She moved that from here in Charlie 1 over to Alpha 2. She dragged a fridge from Charlie 1 through Bravo 1, partially through Bravo 2, and into Alpha 2. That is why we call her Buff M, because she quite literally lifted a fridge and lifted it from Charlie 1 to Alpha 2. She moved. There were so many other fridges in Bravo 2, Bravo 1. Christ, even in Alpha 2. Moved all the way over from Charlie 1 during this hotfix, during this minor bug during a hotfix, and moved it. And that is why we refer to her as Buff M. Now, the reason why we refer to as Buff M Dev is because she is technically a developer. This is a joke. However, she hates it, which makes it even better because she's never heard of the Streisand effect. Because when she goes, I wish she would stop saying that, everybody keeps saying it. And everybody should keep saying it. And now we n now we don't name like the fridges Buff M, we do Buff M Dev. Buffed M Dev. Because she is Buff M, who also happens to be a developer. Because she plays with Matovsky, with Kick, sometimes with Cranog, and occasionally Beta will show up. But Beta will only show up if I show up, like, to kill her. That's that's just that's just how it happens. But anyway. That's the original story. That that is the OG story. That is that is the that is the what is that? That is the founding story of Miss Impossible being hashtag buff M Dev. Alright? So if you ever see her, if she jumps into the chat today, if she's awake by then, I want everybody to do hashtag buff M Dev. If she shows up in this chat, if she is here, I want you all to spam it. Alright? Because it will really annoy her. <laughs> oh, and I'm all about annoying her. I'm all about annoying her. Because she... She annoys me sometimes. She, you know, sometimes she'll just out of the blue phone me. Like, she'll just out of the blue phone me and she'll be like, Hey, what's up? And it's like, what, four o'clock in the morning? And I'm like, um, what do you want? <laughs> and she'll be like, hi, bye. And she'll hang up. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. I'm now awake. I go to work. I go to my work in like, I don't know, three hours. Thanks for waking me up, you bitch. Oh, <laughs> uh, but we're, we're obviously just best friends. Just, be, we're, ju we're just friends because I do it to her as well. I do it to her as well. Like, occasionally, sh occasionally she'll be like, I'm going to bed. I'm like, no, you're not. You've still got to do this. And then and then I'll completely sidetrack her. Like, I'll, turn, I'll make her go completely tunnel visioned. And she'll be like, oh, wow, I need to get up for work in two hours. And I was like, ha, huh, that's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you deserve. You made me almost late for my work. You're going to be a zombie at your work. Have at it. Bitch. <laughs> anyway, now that I'm actually now that I'm actually in the game, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going down to the Zulu sectors because we've got some money now, and you know I, c I could probably head down to Ch you know Zulu three, loot up this town right here, and transport it over to the Zulu three trader. At which point I can probably maybe go over to like you know 
over to this city over here. Uh, I can't remember this bloody name. I can't remember. I can't remember its name. Nine days before I render my last my last shift. Pretty excited. Ooh, Crocs for life for <laughs> Crocs for for life if you do. No, no. I, I want I want a timeout on Mr. Dragonheart, please. <laughs> Get that man timed out right now for 30 seconds. This is the consequence of mentioning Crocs in my stream. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody's been enjoying the multiplayer videos. Uh, I'm playing on the same server. So this is technically episode 3. So if you are watching this, if you are watching this in the playlist, hello, this is a live stream. We are doing this live. And we're making it episode 3 because we're playing in the same place. Do you have a base yet? No. I don't have a base yet. I ain't got no base. That's what we're going to be trying to do today. When I say try to, we probably won't. Annoyance comes part of package. It's a must. Yeah, like, for example, Molka as well. Molka, Molka annoys me sometimes. She sends me, like, Instagram reels. And they're, uh... Kudo loves Crocs. I don't like Crocs. I don't like Crocs. I like my tartan Crocs, but nothing else. Do you know the story behind Crocs and the film Id Idiocracy? Eh, uh, no. What's your beef with Crocs? People who own them belong on lists. <laughs> you actually did it, Mocha! <laughs> you actually did it! Uh. Perfect. 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 Excellent. Love it. Love it. Love it. Sorry, Dragonheart. It's okay. You're only timed out for 30 seconds. It's just a joke, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I spam him with nons nonsensical bullshit. That's funny. Ah! Ah! Merrick. Merrick. But here's the thing. Where is the receipt? Where is the receipt to say that I paid for them? You guys bought me them. You 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 let you guys literally threw them at me. You were like, these are yours now. And because it's technically a gift, I can't bin them. <laughs> so you're on a list. I'm on the hench list. I'm on the strong list. I'm not on the list that you think I'm on. See people who pay for pay for crocs. You you belong on list. List. Listed. Listed. There is no receipt to say that I paid for Crocs. No receipt. On oh, Idiocracy, they wanted to have shoes that were so stupid but not mainstream enough for people to recognise. So they got Croc before they were known about. Oh my god. There's no receipts! No receipts! Get up, yous! Get in the bin! Oh! Right, gonna have a wee nosy through here. I'll buy you a gill Gilly Crocs, how about that? How about no? How does no grab you? Hey! A little Volkswagen. Oh! Cherries, 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 I'm gonna pop someone's cherry. I'm not really, I'm not really that, don't. Right, I'm gonna eat, I eat these wild cherries. And then I'll go upstairs. Ooh, there's a puppet. And it sounds like there's another puppet in that bush. I'm gonna go in here. I actually watched Idiocracy and it reminded me a lot of people these days. <laughs> oh, yeah! I can hear the baddies. I can hear them. I love how vocal you are about how much you hate him. Hate him. And yet, I know you wear them. I do not wear... Kitty, what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Huh? Share with the class! Miss Naughty Kitty. Share with the class. What are you what are you giggling about? I support that. <laughs> As a fucking hell. Phobic, 30 months in a row, dude. Good evening. Really been enjoying the new series. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. Mocha, what are you saying? I love how vocal you are about how you hate him. Yeah, I know you wear him at night, squishing your toes into it saying shit's actually comfy. No, because I've got... <laughs> I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this. Well, not hate, but I think I'm going to get berated for it. Or at least, you know, somebody... Somebody thinking that it's a really easy thing to take the piss out of. I have solid sole slippers. You know, the ones that your granddad would wear? 
You, 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 you granddad slippers. Do you know what I'm? Do you guys know what I'm talking about when I say granddad slippers? Do I need to go get a picture of uh, granddad slippers for you guys to actually understand what I'm talking about? Because those are the ones that I wear. I love solid sole slippers. You know the ones that do, that are not slip-ons. They're kind of like they've they've got no heel on them. So you kind of they're almost like flip-flops if you want to call them that. But I, but they're slippers. They're comfy enough to be slippers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh! Way proper tartan baffies. I have those. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> I do, but I'm like 45 years old. Aye, I'm allowed to have them as well. I'm 30, I'm allowed to have them as well. Don't you fucking age gate fucking slippers. Don't you dare come in here and say, Ah, you're not allowed them. Ah, I'm 45, why you got them? I've got them because they're comfy. I'm laughing at Mock what said you if you must if you must know. Alright, Mrs. Sassy Pants. I've already searched this one, haven't I? Fair enough. We call them what the fuck right here? Wood wood shoes. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Wood shoes. Did I just put on? Ooh, get them off. <laughs> they're a wee bit too tight for me. He can deny it as much as he wants, I don't care. I will deny it! I will deny it! I'll spit in your eye! <laughs> spit in your eye and tell you you're wrong! <laughs> oh, Dragonheart, now we're talking Jaffa Cakes for life! Aye, now we're talking, now! Now you can stay untimed out! Like... You get what you give, bud? Mmm, 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 madam. Madam. <laughs> Where is all the loot? I know it's vanilla sense, but Jesus criminy man! My slippers need to be squishy. Squishy? Then it would make your feet all sweaty. And then it'd be horrible. Hello, Mr. Fredo, it's great to see you finally go live. What do you mean finally go live? I always go live on a Sunday. How's Phil's sword? Do you mean my sword? It's my sword! It's not Phil's sword anymore, it belongs to me! <laughs> it belongs to me, it's a fucking feudal sword! Feudal sword's good. It's good. It's good. It's very good. I really like it. It's really, really... It's really hot. Like, I look at it and I'm like, god damn. Like... Like... God... Damn! It's lovely. I love it to bits. I might do a video of me going out in the back and like cutting up some like fruit or something like that, but I don't want to waste fruit because I like fruit. There we go. Rattled, son. Rattled. Oh, does that have multiple wheels on it? No, it doesn't. I thought it might have had multiple wheels on it. Oh, it's your first time, Brian. Fair enough, pal. Fair enough, fair enough. Usually I'm live every Sunday. Oh, what the fuck? Ooh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I may have to fucking fix that. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this. Hold on. I need to take this, uh, this jacket off, because this jacket is... Cooking me. Right, severity's down low. Good. Right, have we got a... So I got an alternator in it. It's got an alternator in it. It's got no battery in it. Which is a kick in the teeth. Just to eat it, you won't waste it. Yeah, if it's hitting the ground though! These puppets really don't see me. I am invisible to these things. Have you ever encountered players yet? Like, right now? No. I killed a player a couple of, like, last week? I killed him live on the stream. What's that? Rager bumper. I don't understand the whole vehicle thing in this game. Like, where do you find all the parts? I'm standing in something that you'd find all the parts in. Like, look. 
It's the same with Daisy. You need to tr you need to look for things. There's there's places that you can find things in, like for example, a garage, a mechanic bay, a trader. There's there's loads of stuff. There's loads of places you can find all the parts for. The only reason why I'm not building up right now is because it's not got a battery. If I don't have a battery, I can't move the damn thing. So, mm. right, we're gonna move south. Uh, south, 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 south. We're moving. I have the same problem being not seen, but with women. Oh my god, Lars, come on, man. You're a little catch, don't worry. You've never played Daisy. Go away, you Dane, man! What are you doing? Play a survival game, for Christ's sake! <laughs> oh, God. Oh no, Brian, I play stealthy. That's that's my that's my game game plan for most of this is quite literally play stealthy. Stay out of like common areas where players might be. Which is a wee, to some people's a wee bit boring because some people are like, oh you're, what's the point of playing PvP? It's so when I do spot someone and they think they're safe, I'm there with a gun. You see what my point is? You see what I'm getting at right now? When they feel safe, that's when I appear from the shadows. When they're like, Oh, this is good. I won't encounter any bad guys here. Dead. Me. It's me. Me. It's all me. Definitely not half-ass watching it work. <laughs> I played Tarkov, Rust, Forest Scum, some others I never got the hang of Daisy. Oh. You played Tarkov, I liked old style Tarkov. You played Rust, I played I loved old style Rust. Forest, yeah, it's alright. Scum, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you play Scum, then how do you not understand? I do own it, but just never got into it. Fair enough. Vertier, hello, how are you doing? I like the epic bow kill you got from the other day. That was funny. It was good, wasn't it? I like I like how the whole time I was like As soon as I spotted that I just went into pure I am, like, you know, I am the shadows, I am sneakiness. Call an ambulance, call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Back off, you spooky bitch. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. Right, we can do that. Hello, Ray. How you doing, man? Bet he fucking lost. <laughs> oh, Malka, I bet he was like... I bet he was like jamming away to music and he was like, Oh, I'm safe. No one will find me here. And then suddenly, like, prisoner dead screen. Like, you died. <laughs> I would be mad. Admittedly, I would be... I would, I would be... I'd be fucking raging. Like... Could you imagine that? Like, just one second you're like, totally safe, totally in the mind of, there's no one here, there's no one, po there, no one possibly could be here. And then suddenly, bam, dead. I'm not doing an abandoned bunker before anybody, anyone asks. I'm not doing it, I'm just here for the little containers right here. Because usually you can find screwdrivers in here. There's an egg! There's an egg and I'm gonna throw it at you! Oh, I missed. That's it, come round here. Huh? I said come over here! Oh! That was a mistake. Oopsie, oopsie. Bonk. Dead. Oh, today I watched a new Wonka movie and now watching the original. I used to watch it all the time. Oh, I like the original. I like that. I prefer the original. The original with um, Gene Wilder. I love that movie. It's so good. 
how you how you guys and girls doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. We had a wee bit of an upset at the start. Um, I couldn't connect to the server. A lot of people said there was apparently an update. Ooh, there's a box. Hello, Maverick. How you doing, pal? But yeah, the uh, bows are king in this game. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. We had a wee bit of an upset at the start. Um, essentially, I got into... I was trying to connect to the server about a few times, and it just it just wouldn't let me join. A couple of people said that there might have been an update for Scum. Couldn't see any. There was a... There was a... There was a texture texture render cache update, but that was like 300 meg, less than that, maybe 30 meg, so, mm, I don't know. The, the new Wonka movie is kind of strange. I've not seen, there's three Wonka movies, isn't there? There's three of them, isn't there? I, I still think th the one the one to top them all is the Gene Wilder one. Because Gene Wilder is just a funny guy. Oh, hello. What the f... That just sung off his head there. Shut up. There we go, we're safe! We're safe! Ah, oh, fuck a doodle do. Hold on. Johnny Depp, Jenny Depp's here. Oh, you, you like the Johnny Depp one? Nah, I didn't, I didn't particularly like it. I'm not gonna say it's like his worst, his worst movie, but... It wasn't one of my favourites, unfortunately. Not, 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 not a, not a movie for me. The Gene Wilder one, the only reason why I like the Gene Wilder one is probably because Ray it, uh, and like Ray pointed out as well, the musical side of things on that uh, that version, the original version, so good. There's a big pumpkin there. There's a big pumpkin. M4 glitter. What? Huh? No. No. Set name. Get that to fuck. Hashtag. Hashtag. Buff. M. Dev. There you go. Happy. Happy boy. Eat. Eat some pumpkin. Is there more puppets on the server or is it low pop? It's a... Uh, it's a little bit higher than normal. I think it's like one or two. It's either like 0.5 off of vanilla settings or it's 2.0. So there's two, two, two times more puppets than normal. Do y'all think they should make another pirates? Oh yeah! For, for what happened to him? Oh, this is a, this is actually kind of stinking. This thing. This thing's kind of stinking. The food repulsion. Blech. I like how I can eat it in little, like small doses, and the the food repulsion doesn't get it. Hashtag feudal's booty. Listen, leave my trunk alone. Just because I've got a round one, leave me alone. The bubbles are mine. <laughs> That and in general, yeah, yeah. Prequel movies are always parallel universe type of shit. Nothing original and boring in my opinion. That's fair enough. Get the fuck. Food repulsion. Get the fuck. Get the fuck. Get the fuck. Uh, what am I doing here? Metabolism. 24% stomach volume. Right, cool. I'm fine with that. That's the wrong button. <laughs> Mocha, shut it. <laughs> you shot! Feudal's booty. <laughs> Zonked. Zonked. Oh, uh, Ash! Control yourself, woman! Control yourself! <laughs> Listen here, you. Actually, now that I come to think of it, the booty's kind of tense right now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's kind of tense. After a leg day, big hamstrings, big hamstring curls. Oh. Dump truck for life. <laughs> you know, certain people will actually get... 
In fact, Malka, you're going to be very jealous of this because I'm I'm going a few places probably this year and next year where people can quite literally see it. And only a few people can touch it. In fact, one person can touch it. It's me! It's me! I'm only the one! I'm the only one that can touch it! Hello, Tyler. How you doing, pal? I've been... Tyler, I've been doing multiplayer videos for the, like, the past week. I actually don't mind the new top... See... I like Top Gun. I like the new one. I like the new one only because... Um... Only because it's really, really cool. I like I like fighter jets. I love fighter jets. Love fighter jets. Like anything. A like I know it's probably not something to bring up, but see the whole um the air supremacy campaign on uh I think it was Iraq. Was it Iraq? I think it was Iraq. The whole air supremacy. Someone's done a really cool demonstration using like kind of animated uh, icons, and it shows you like the in the, the, just the the work up to the point where they were like, right, stealth bombers fucking nail the communications hub within Baghdad. It's the CNN reporter just going completely like, CNN report going completely dead because all communications have been completely cut off. Oh, it's such. It's just an incredible thing to watch. And the fact that the air supremacy is like... The, uh... Was it the Advarks were better than the A-10s and everything like that? It's like, ah, Advarks are cool planes, man. In fact, it's not, it's so called... Yeah, it is actually called an Advark, isn't it? Advark... What is it? Advark plane, what is it? The F, F, F-11 Advark. F-111 Advark. Yeah, that plane's... That plane's kind of hot, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that plane's hot. Oh, I need to pee. Hold on. Also, Kitty, where are you going? I'm going down to the Zulu sectors. I'm going down to the Zulu sectors to do some uh, looting. Hello, Hazy. How you doing, pal? Oh, Jesus, can people see it? You going down the nudie beach? Merrick, apparently they're... Merrick, can you confirm this for me? Can you confirm this for me? Um, see up the northeast. Is there nude beaches? Is there nude beaches on the northeast? Like the coastline? Because if there is, <laughs> I'm going to gather a bunch of West Coast guys and we're going to go over and going to be like, look at you, man. <laughs> Look at all these milk bottles out in the beach! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. Humming. Humming. I can tell you this. I can tell you the new Top Gun is a lot more accurate how they operate aircrafts than the original. But I guess Tom learned a few new things. Getting a pilot license. Yeah, that's true. My dad actually helped Bell make all of the attack helicopters for the government. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a bunch nude beach heaven. <laughs> Sent me a ton of pictures of them and they're, they're sick as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zach, the A10 sucks to be honest. The only, th I mean, yeah, I, see if you look at the whole, if you look at the A10 as a whole versus the Advark, um, yeah, the ad works much better, and I think during the ground campaign, uh, the Aardvarks had to get switched to ground attack because the A-10s couldn't do it in the dark, the Aardvarks could. They couldn't do it in rough weather, the Aardvarks could. <laughs> so, Aardvark actually has the accolade of tank buster, the A-10 is just, a, it's just like a daytime tank buster. That also can't determine friend from foe. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's there. It's, all the statistics are there. Oh, do you know? Do you know who I would love to? Do you know what I would love to do? I would genuinely, genuinely love 
to go over to the States and have someone who is a veteran minibird pilot fly me around and just just show me how close they would get to the ground and how agile those little mini birds are. Oh my days. Like even watching Black Hawk down and watch them and like watching them like just participate in like you know like like drop sites, like dropping off special like spec op units and stuff like that, like Delta Force and stuff like that. And then obviously switching to a routine mode of, you know, close air support. <laughs> And it's like, there's just this shield of glass between me and the enemy. <laughs> and my 50mm machine gun. <laughs> Zonked. Right, we're going to go in here and have a little nosy about, see if we can find anything. That would be, but it'd be so cool. So, so cool. The ending of TG Maverick was a replay of... A&H's Death Star Trench run. <laughs> Have you seen the video of the automated guns on the Navy ships that start to target passenger... Oh, yeah, the C-Rams? Yeah. The C-Ram? The goalkeeper? Yeah. Of course I have. Wolf, I know I was exaggerating. I was exaggerating. I was just exaggerating. It's okay. You don't, you don't have to correct me. I'm just exaggerating. I'm trying to say that the people who flew many birds during those various campaigns have good balls of steel. <laughs> That's my point. Right, let's hope there's nobody home. Malka, you're leaving? Oh, oh you mother! Right. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> See you later, Malka. Jump, jump, jump. Woo! There we go. Oh, Zach, see, see if you want to talk about planes, it's totally fine, man. Woo! Who was that? Tristan! Welcome to the levees, pal. Thank you very much. Bad guy right there. I missed. I missed. Usually I don't miss. Right, why are we looking here? There's always pink boots in here. I don't know why there's always pink boots in here. Like it, it, it doesn't matter where I go, what sort of a, uh, what sort of tent I go to. If it's a tent, some oh, ah, now we're talking, boys. Let's go. I mean, it's blue. They're blue. Blue's better than fucking yellow, I suppose. Right. There we go. Take that. Down there. Down there. Isopropyl alcohol. I totally forgot I actually had that as well. well hey, cool. Thank you very much, pal. Welcome to the levees. You can't wait to get into this game, Tyler. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of things to do in it. And, uh, come 1.0, you'll have even more things to do. And when I say that, I quite literally mean you're going to have lots more to do. You're going to have PvE quests. You're going to have PvP quests, no doubt. Uh, a lot more AI, a lot more... You know, it's a bad idea telling me that I can talk about planes. I'll talk your ears off. Dude, go for it. Dude, if you if, if you mention a plane, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try and match it. I'll try and match that energy. I have a big s oh my fucking god, there's three of them there. I need to just check what I can find in here and see if I can find anything good. 
There's two tents back there, I kind of want to say. Oh, yes! Hmm, did I take it though? Do I take it? I don't think I want to take that because the, the salt backpack's very low profile. Makes me look very low profile as well. I don't think I'm going to take- I don't- I don't- I don't really want to take that, actually. I've got my- this is how I play the game. I play the game as an assault backpack type of person. I like being low profile. If I'm low profile, I can get around things. He, do he doesn't see me. Shush. Silence. Quiet. Does that mean raiding people is coming to scum? You can already raid people in scum. What do you mean? You can already raid people, Brian. The PvP quest would probably be, you know, like BCUs if you've got so many BCUs, like you could hand in BCUs. Hey, Cole! <laughs> Just cause why not? Thanks for that 10, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, pal. I'm very generous of you. Uh... Right. Let's see what's over here. We got anything? Have I already got one of them? I've already got one of them. Uh, right. What do I want to do? Do I want to go to the Kwanzaa? Eh, uh, Kwanzaa huts. Nilsuke, how you doing, pal? How you doing? Ooh. He gave us permission to talk about planes. Our addictions are going to get worse. Dude, do it. Do it. Do it. Talk about what you like, man. It's better than talking about something that you don't like. <laughs> Come here, little puppet. There we go. There we go. So, prickly pear, should I ignore this? Tastes funny. I mean, yeah, ignore it. Ignore it. Just ignore it. Shut this door. No, you're right. Dead. Unless you're on a private server that has restrictions on base damage rating, PvP rating is very is is very common. Yes. Official servers it's very common. On private servers it can be restricted to offline or um by but I think it's by the players or by the uh, the squad that owns the base. It can be down to them. It can be determined by if they've got protection on or not. Uh, normal, normally, you'll find on official servers and other other rotating PvP servers, you'll always have uh, base raiding. Oh my God, he's dead. Or she's dead, sorry. Cactus is Edwire else, so I don't want to kill myself with a with a damn cactus. Do it, Volk. Do it. Do it. Eat the cactus. Eat the cactus. I dare you. I dare you eat the cactus. There's a smoke grenade. I actually do find myself using smoke grenades, funnily, you should if if anybody's uh, really wondering. Oh, there he is, Mr. Matoski. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, bootylicious. <laughs> so, get a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer to each other. Come on, a little bit closer. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. And now. There we go. Chain reaction. A little chain reaction. Funnily I should say that, that's actually the name of a cycle shop here. How you doing, Matt? How's your, how's your evening, dude? How's everything going? God damn, there's absolutely no fucking devs. There's no devs? Not devs. There's no loot. Fucking devs? <laughs> That's because you said devs, Rieger. I read, I read your comment and I was like, there's no fucking devs. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Oh, that's the right colour. Boys, we've got the right colour now. 
We've got the right colour now. Ah, yes! Now we just need to find... I've already got one of them. I've been drinking the past two days, so going good. <laughs> You've been drinking the past two days? You psycho! Oh, Maverick, thank you very much, dude. Welcome to... Oh, fuck. I need to get in here and deal with the, the poopettes. Thank you very much, Maverick. Zonked. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I hope everybody's seen that advert. Oh, Brian, it always makes sense to stash stuff in the ground. It's all, it's, it's a common, it's a, it's just a common strategy in this game. If you want, if you want to save loot, if you want something to save, if you've got a big base, just create like a, build a crate, bury it somewhere far away from your base, and I mean far away from your base, so, so if you ever have the chance to get killed, and you're, you're being raided, then at least you can get yourself maybe a kit, maybe something- Oh, 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 oh fucking hell! <laughs> Boys! Oh, lads, we've got a scar! We've got a scar! Okay, don't want to stay here. Want to go down. Okay, don't want to stay here, want to go somewhere else, actually. Oh, I don't want to go down, I want to go back up, because there's more Quonset huts up there. <laughs> I got a scar. <laughs> yeah, Brian, like I did in the previous episode, yeah. There's a lot of suicide puppets cutting about, for some benign reason. I'm just going to hold here for a second. We go. Up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. In here. There we go. Matowski! Welcome to the mercenaries, pal. What'd you do that for, you freak? Oh, I actually, I actually done him in there. Thank you very much, Matowski. What are you up to anyway? You still drinking? Are you still drinking at this hour? On a Sunday? Come here. Oh, I thought I could just hit, I could just shoot the explosive and it would just be fine. There we go. When you get in your compound bow, hopefully soon. There we go. Yeah. I don't have to worry about anything. Look at that splattered. Ah, the gore. Matovsky, um, can we can we can we get a a function in Scum to allow us to to maybe decapitate like <gasps> to decapitate puppets and stuff like that, like like cut limbs off and stuff like that? Because that'd be really funny. That'd be really cool. How's the sword? Sword's fucking awesome, man. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. I love it to bits. It's honestly one of my 
favourite possessions right now. And I've got a few. Is there archery, archery, ugh, archery laws in Scotland? No. You can you you can wield a two hundred and fifty pound uh, draw weight crossbow, and you don't need a license for it. At least I don't think you do. If you do, then I'm I'm out of date on the rules. But I get more of these things, man. I don't mind wasting the carbons. Oh. Oh, I just, I just, I just beamed him in the face. I just beamed him in the face. What a shot. He opened his mouth and I just went and <laughs> You are now impaled. You are now a skewer. Imagine if the explosion causes a horde. Eh. I mean, sometimes it can. What about gun laws though? Yeah, we've, we do have gun laws. We do have gun laws. Uh, you're not allowed to own a gun for personal protection. It's all about um, it's all about licenses, and uh, I know that's going to be a shock to some people. Like how closely you're monitored with your gun. If you if you own a shotgun or a rifle or anything like that, you are mo you are monitored. You are like because obviously we've had people in the past that have been like kind of do lally. Admin proceeds to teleport them and decapit and decapitate them and then kick. <laughs> we do have gun laws though. It's uh the laws make sense. And we're not we're not a nation of gun surrounded by gun gun culture, I would say. No, fuck you. Get out of you. Eh, dink. Right, let's get the rest of these boys dispatched. Woo! He doesn't even know! He didn't even know! Right, let's have a look through here. I've gotten a, a good whetstone yet, Fido? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I, that's something I need to get, Rieger. That's something I need to get. I've got all the oils. I've got oils out of the wazoo. Oh, bruh. <sighs> Game's trying to tell me to take a take a hiking backpack, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> Americans proceed to blow a golf ball-sized hole in the first man. He's dead on this spot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's good. Right. Once we're done here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to... Right, this place sucks, so we're, we're gonna go somewhere else. We're gonna go to the underside of, uh, of this place because it's good. There we go. Because I really want to find some attachments for the scar. I need to find some 308 rounds. Some 308 rounds. A magazine, preferably. If your house get broken into it or something, you could just treat them like a puppet and compound bow them to the. <laughs> I mean, I've got swords, I've got an axe, I've got a war, I've got a war axe. And when I when I state that I have these things and I'm in the, I thought there was a player on the other side of that fence there. Shot myself. Oh, I don't even see you there. Haha, <laughs> loser. I didn't even take any damage from that. Because he, he, he clocked me in the chest. Woo! Run. God, imagine the look on their faces. Well, yeah, like a lot of. I, th I think there was a recent video of. Uh, I can't remember oh, what was his name. Hold on, I'm gonna go find this guy's name out, and he did. He did like a comparison of medieval weaponry to uh, a medieval like medieval weaponry compared like against a uh, like modern battle armor. What's his name? What did he do? Where the fuck is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? No, that's not him. 
No. No. Who the fuck sent this into my... Is it in my general chat? It was Kentucky Ballistics. Kentucky Ballistics. He was doing he was doing a video on like medieval weaponry and he's using medieval weapons that are made out of fucking like dinky ass metal. Yeah. Like aluminium and stuff like that. Like just 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 the wrong type of metal. To be fair, he did he did have a war pick. He did have a war pick that did it did do the job. But like he was using stuff and it was like it's like kind of Etsy crap, if you know what I'm talking about. It's like it's not hand forged. It's like it's just it's just like it's just crap metal basically, and it's not designed to be used, if you know what I mean. It's it's used to be looked at, or like reenactment or stuff stuff like that. Everything else though, it just no. Everything else, no, nah, nah. I mean, if he wants, if he if he wants to, if he wants to talk to me about like you know, you know, eighteen gauge steel weapons and stuff like high carbon steel weapons. I mean, I know a few people he can probably be pointed to. There's a few American blacksmiths that can make that stuff for him. <laughs> and the other thing is as well, he's, he was using a three ball flail, it, and he also called a flanged mace. A fucking spiky scepter. <laughs> it's like a spiky scepter. What the fuck's that? It's a flanged mace. Oh my god, man! And a morning star. This is a, this is my spiky. <laughs> this is my spiky scepter. It's not a fucking scepter, man. It's a one-handed, brutal, killing device. Oh, any any used uh Obviously, a rendition of a potential Norman sword because it's got that kind of flare on it, or an arming sword, a Norman arming sword. Um, and when he hit, when he hit the, the the zombie head, and it just, and it just like it curved and wibbled and wobbled. I was like, Ugh. he's using like really cheap ass weapons, and it's like, Ugh, why are you doing that? I know, I know, I know, I know it's for the video. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, stop shooting me. I know, I know, I know it's a, I know it's a joke. I know, I know it's a joke. I know it's to be taken as a joke, but it's just like watching it and I'm like, that's, have you ever seen his punt gun? It's a beast. No, I haven't. No, because some, somebody set, sent me the, sent me the video in my general chat and I was like, None of this makes sense. Why are you doing this to me? Because obviously I'm a big fan of medieval weaponry. Because I've got medieval weaponry. So when he was using like really cheap, really, really cheap, cheap weapons, I was like... I was, was kind of standing there like, why, why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that to yourself? Ooh. Oh my god, run. This is where I want to be. To be fair, KB is a gun. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. I know he's a gun guy. I know I'm a, I know he's a gun guy. But if you're gonna do it, do it fucking properly if you know what I'm not if you know what I'm talking about. He'd be I I genuinely think he'd be interested in like siege crossbows and stuff like that. Um ballistas and things. Because they are all, they're all early days ballistics. To be fair, you can only shoot them one at a time. But I think they would be qu quite cool. That's if you don't join me in chivalry. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking beast you in chivalry. <laughs> I'll beast you in chivalry. Don't you, don't you make me get my chivalry hat out. The punt gun is absolutely medieval in its funk. <laughs> I'll certainly have a look at it. At this point, I'm just gathering shit to sell. Because, like, I just don't have... I can't find anything here. If I can find some 308 and probably a sight, it'd be really good. Do it proper or not at all. I'm not saying... I'm not saying have don't have fun with it. But if you're going to do it and you're going to be like... Like, medieval weaponry! 
and then someone who's actually got an interest in medieval weaponry is like, what the fuck are you doing? None of this is medieval at all. This is all like absolute guff. Unpopular statement, but what is chivalry? Chivalry is a hack and slash game, cool. It is a fantastic hack and slash game that I happen to be very fucking good at. <laughs> better than be, better than I am playing scum, essentially. Is, is that that's that that's what I'll say. That's all I'll say. Can I unlock any of these? No, I can't. Right, I guess we're going to be selling the DMR. So we need to make it from Alpha 4 to Char uh, Zulu 3. Hello, Mr. Monroe, how are you doing? Ooh. I'm going to go this way. Running. Running. <laughs> Dipping. See you later, loser. I'm almost out of here. There's the perimeter wall. Hope it's all good with me. Yeah, we're all good here, man. We're all good. Having fun. What is the thing behind the mech? Are they just like in the game or there's a reason behind it? Cole, do you know the lore behind Scum? Do you understand why they're here? We'll, we'll start that off as like an introduction to Scum. So, for everybody who doesn't know... <laughs> Hello Fatty, I'm here. Hello fellow Fatty, how are you doing Fatty Fat? <laughs> Wish you could take the sub out for a spin. It'd be cool. It'd be cool. It'd be a cool thing to do. But Cole, do you you don't know? Right. Okay. So let me explain. Scum is owned by Tech One. The island in which we play on is man-made, or as such, sort of man-made. It's natural in the sense that it is an island, man-made in the su in the sense of all the buildings are man-made. Right. However. The game that we are playing versus the world outside of this island is completely different. We are playing a postmodern 21st century island. On the outside of this island, outside of the walls, outside of the like the safety of this island, is a world similar or akin to cyberpunk. Which is why you will find yourself wondering why the hell is there drones? Why is that? Why the hell is there a BCU in the back of my skull, and why is there a big sentry guarding this location? The reason why the sentries are there is because that location happens to have loot that is of high value. Seeing it as it's high value, you need to put something in place to protect it or protect it. Now, the other reason why it's owned by Tech One, we're technically owned by Tech One. Your character is owned by Tech One. The other thing is, this island is essentially similar to The Condemned, if you've ever seen that before with Stone Cold Steve Austin. This island is owned by Tech One. This island is also, like, it's all also surveilled by Tech One because we are game show hosts. Or we're, we're finally, like, we're essentially people who are part of a game show. The show is called Scum. The entertainment is humans surviving through any means possible finally someone read the lore Matowski I've always known the lore I've read the lore like several times I can bring it up right now if you want hello Spencer how you doing pal but the world that we reside in the world that we are currently playing in the world that I'm playing in right now is not the same as the world outside of this I mean for God's sake look Look! There's a there's there's 
there is a metallic glowy thing in the back of my skull. What postmodern thing do you wonder? Like, 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 there's no game that's like 21st century and you get shit in the back of your head. There's no bionics. This is set in the future, but we play in a postmodern world. I fucked up hung Hunger Games. Yeah, you could call it that. There's another, another clip. I just need to find a grand now. I just need to find an M1 Garand. Do I have any rounds for the Garand? No, I don't. Hello, Mr. Bark. How you doing, pal? Welcome to the stream. It's a creation island in 2010s. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Let's have a little look at this. Ah. There's another clip of ammo. Ah. I'm finding more clips in more 30 out 6 than normal. Which is a good sign. I just have to find myself an M1 Garand now. That's all I need. How to read the lore. If uh, if you are a if you've got the supporter pack for scum. Right, so let me just let me just find a little hidey hole here. Right. If I go to Steam, right, so if you've if you've got supporter pack one, if you if anyone in the chat has supporter pack one right now, go to Steam, go to your Steam library. I want you to right click on scum and click on properties. I want you to then go to installed files and click browse. It will then bring up your file explorer. You will then see a you'll see a folder called extras. Click into extras. Right? You'll see the, the, the Scum minigame design document. I believe there's also an extras too. If you are if you have supporter pack too. If you also if you've got both you have both of them, right, do that then. If you if you've got that, you'll also see the comic and the movie script. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly bring up um a picture of what the world is like outside of Scum. So what you're about to see is the world outside of Scum. Hold on. Uh, fit to screen, transform, fit to screen, fit to screen, fit to screen. Where the fuck is it? There you go. There is the world outside world outside of this island. This right here is a cyberpunk world. And you can see there's Tech 1 in the top left. You can see, like, scum advertisements in the far right. There's lots of stuff going on here. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the comic book as well. So what I could probably do is... Oh, I can't link that, but... You can see... If you've got the supporter pack too, you can essentially see the uh, the story of a of a standard uh, prisoner and how they become a prisoner. So there you go. Hold on. I only have supporter pack that's that lets me poop items. So you've got number one. There's a concept of underground and removal of BCUs. Yeah, there's also the there, there's literally a trailer for that. Ooh, that's a lot of bad guys. I guess I'm gonna have to kill them. Oh my god, I shot her so hard that she T-posed into the BCUs. Yeah. Crazy. What do you suppose that blue thing is in the back of my head? That is a BCU. That 
that is the chip. That is what the chip is called, a BCU. And it allows you to look at your metabolism, your health, your crafting, etc. It also allows you to gain fain points as well. Which are quite important when you think about it. Now the other thing is, if you're wondering how these puppets are still here, these are former players, these are former citizens, and they're also former, uh, you know, guards for Tech 1. See if, I, see if I crouch here, you can kind of see the, B you can't really see the BC in the back of his head, but what I'll do is I'll just simply unclothe him. Look, see the BCU? You see it? So when a player dies, when a player dies, when a guard dies, they are implanted with the BCU chip before they even get to the island. Same with the prisoners as well. As soon as they die, the BCU chip turns them into mindless killing machines. As you can see, there's one right there. There's one planted into the back of his skull as well. So, even the guards on this island have them. Even the people that Tech One trusts the most have BCUs on this island. Because they know, they know fine well that if that, if that guard dies and leaves the island, they'll tell people of what's happening here. So, in order to keep them here, they are here for life until somebody puts an arrow in their head, like me. Right, we're moving for the bridge in Alpha 3 Zulu 3. That's where we're going now. Yeah, you can harvest the BCUs from players. The reason why we're going to uh, Zulu 3 is so we can sell uh, quite a little bit of this, actually, because I don't have... Well, I would like to keep the DMR. I would like to keep it. I'd like to keep it, but at the same time, hmm, I don't think I'll keep it. I think I'll stick to having a compound bow if I can find one. And my trusty baseball bat with nails. Because I much prefer being silent at this point. I don't want to be loud. Oh well, so much for my story being believable. <laughs> right! This is going to be a wee bit of a hike, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you're all strapped in for a wee bit of a uh, wee bit of chat. I'm going to have to sit here for a second, actually. Rest up. Chill out. Mr. Fredo, hope you're having a good weekend. Can you play this offline? Yes, you can play this offline, as that's how I prefer to play games like Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yes! Have you seen other players yet? No. Because the way that I play is sneaky. I don't tend to... I don't locate other players. Why would you need the BCUs from other players just as a trophy? Uh, yeah. Just as a trophy, it can be part of the quest system that's coming into the game soon as well. So, 1.0... 1.0, when this game re fully releases, they intend to release quests that you will you, that you will essentially take part take part in through the various traders here, all four traders. So, one of them might be a PvP related quest where you need to find five BCUs. You need to kill five players and turn in five BCUs, and in return you'll get a bankroll of X amount of money or X amount of gold or for every BCU that you turn in, you'll maybe get a gold bar, or you'll get like $150, or $250, or something like that. But I would imagine it's going to be a healthy mix of different types of quests. So there's going to be PvE quests and PvP quests. I don't think the PvP quests are going to be very much detailed in like, go and raid something, go and destroy a base. No, it's not going to do that. I don't suspect it's going to do that because there's no way to keep a track of it. The best way to keep a track of things is a PvP quest where essentially you are to hunt other players and simply collect their BCUs. 
My version already has some. There you go. How do you get gold? You buy it from the uh, the banker in the trading posts. He's going over there. Okay, alright. Feel did you sign up to play Pax Day? I did, I did, I did. I don't know if I'm going to get in though. Does anybody remember? Does anyone remember the first episode? <laughs> Can you see how many players are in the server? Only if you're an admin in-game or if you're, uh, if you're joining the server. Uh, before you create your character, you can see how many people are in. I got Escape from Tarkov, not tried it yet. Going to play offline, just going around killing. I do like Stalker though. You do like Stalker? Perf Dude, just play Stalker. Just play Stalker. Chicken! Little shit. Got you. No, I don't want to search it. I want to fucking pluck it. Oh, Toad! New quest. Attack Mr. Feudal's base with a herd of goats. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Because <laughs> you know fine well Tommy will do it. <laughs> you know fine well Tommy will do that. There we go. New stalker. Yeah, new stalker's gonna be out this year. It's gonna be really good. Dude, there's so many things coming out. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is coming out this year. It's a 2024 release. They've been working on it for six years. They've been working on one of my favourite medieval, like, kind of lifestyle games for six years. God damn years. I am so hard for this. <laughs> I'm so ready to play Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Tarfog is a mirror kind of forces you to play online because that's the only way to get loot you need to progress. Ha 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 ha. Cool. <laughs> About that, I've got a little surprise for you. Have you ever heard of, have you ever heard of the single player mod for it? <laughs> Fucking BSG, we don't want to talk about it. They definitely don't want to shill it. They, I'll fucking shill it. I'll talk about it, all right. The bastards. Imagine wanting to enjoy a game by yourself and just play without other players interrupting you. Shocking. Not even played the first... Ca You've not even played the first one? Go and play the first one. Please go and play the first one. The world building in that game is beautiful. It is incredible. The game is so good. Everything about it is just perfect. SPT, the new updates are done as well. There you go. Yeah, you've heard about it? Yeah. I, I, I did a little stream on single player Tarkov and it's yet to be taken down. <laughs> is Kingdom Come like Mortal and Chivalry? No. No. Mato. Go and play the first game, for fuck's sake. Go and play the first game. I need to take a drink of water. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, the uh, SPT, it's, it's called. 
But yes, Mato, go and get the first game. Go and get KCD one. It's good. Mato, are you talking about Chivalry 2 or Chivalry 1? Because if you're playing Chivalry 1, I will make you rage quit that game. What's the objective of it? Like, is it more for your stash or hideout? No, Cole, it's... The objective is literally... It's, it's the same... It's the same objective. To level up. To level up your stash. To level up as a character. To develop your character. Uh, the traders still work. The flea still works. It all, It's all artificially... It, like, AI... Like, controlled. The flea market's all AI controlled. So you can still... Uh, <laughs> You can still, uh, you can still use the flea market, you can still sell things, you can still buy things, it's just, it's just a single player variant of it, and it's just fun to play. I used to really enjoy Tarkov, I, I liked old Tarkov, old Tarkov was my jam, loved it to bits, played it for god knows how many hours, it was really fun. Not so keen on new Tarkov. Not so keen on it. Though for the amount of hours that I played it, and how do you how do you do the tasks that require player kills? Like shooter burn. AI. Cole, there's AI PMCs. And they they constitute as real players. And as Volf just said said there, the PMCs are upgraded AI geared. And they're leveled the same, they kind of le level with you. So, the higher level you get, the more geared and more interesting they become. Mr. Bark, with the five gifted memberships. Thank you very much, pal. That is very generous. Thank you very much. Oh, what a day. What a day. Thank you very much, Bark. If you got yourself a free membership courtesy of Mr. Bark, please tell that man... Thank you very much. And can I get some hashtag barks in the chat, please? Hashtag barks in the chat, please. <laughs> uh. What a day. What a day. Mr. Fudo, I'm 38 now. I used to play keyboard and mouse, but nowadays I'm more controllers. I'm lazy and I still want to play games that are more old school. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's a little wolf. <laughs> what a man. Thank you very much, Park. I'm really hoping I don't get killed here. I just want to come in here and say hello. Oh shit. Oh shit the bed. Shit the bed. Oh, I've woke them all up. I've woke them all up. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me in. Cocoa powder. Give me those. Right, bye. I'm leaving. Mm, that's about six of them there. That's about six of them there. Unfortunately, I'm faster. Right, up we go. Oh, they despawned. Good. Excellent. I'm gonna say good night. <laughs> Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Good night, everyone. See you later, Zach. Thanks for popping in, dude. Right, I'ma just just uh, I'ma just I'ma just chill here, Mister Wookie Nookie. How you doing, man? How's things? <laughs> right. We are almost well. We pretty much are at the. We, we pretty much are at the uh, the bridge now. We just have to get across it now.
<laughs> oh, it's over there. <laughs> Mr. Fudo, just sashes on the puppies. Puppets like a freaking boss. <laughs> Alright boss, thanks for asking. Any gigs you're going to lately, Bookie? Any gigs you're thinking of going to? I might be going to uh, Arch Enemy and In Flames uh, this year. Might be. I need, to, I need to get a couple of my friends involved. What's the base building like? Modular. Similar in style to Rust or Ark. But you've also got the two meter high walls as well. <sighs> Woo! Down we go. Off for now. Micron's disease illness playing up. Unlucky man. Keep warm and dry. All herbal smoke needed. Night all. Peace. See you later, Matt. Thanks for popping in, pal. Right. Gonna ju. Oh, I need. I need water. Water. Water, water, water. Need some. Need some water. Number six. Number six, let's go. Hopefully I've got enough drinks in this to hold me over. I do, I've got seven drinks in it. Right, character's back to being normal. If this constitutes as normal, off we go. This game's really pretty, isn't it? I mean, I'm running across a big fucking concrete monstrosity, but like, very pretty. It's a very pretty game. Are you able to take over a bunker and use one of those locks on it? Did I just hear a chicken? Is that a World War II bunker over there? Hold on a minute. Uh, oh no, it's a base! Ah, alright. For a moment there, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a World War Two bunker. Like, I've never seen a World War Two bunker over there. Right, what am I aiming for? I'm aiming for that, that bit right there. You can kind of, you can kind of see a couple of like red tiled buildings. That's what I'm aiming for right now. That's what I'm aiming for. There's been no cars driven over here, so I would imagine there's quite a few players maybe on the top regions of the map today, not so much the lower regions of the map. And hey, we've got 26 fame points, we may be able to buy some clothing. Oh, what are you saying? <laughs> Run, 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 Yeah, chat, I think I'm going to sell this DMR because as, as much as it is powerful, as much as it is, like, designed to just rifle people, it's, it's also going to be just a weight. I like to be nice and lightweight. I like to be, like, minimal as possible. If I'm going to carry a gun, it has to be, it has, it has to be a bolt action. It must be a bolt action. Mr. Chris, how you doing, pal? Where's the goat thrower, Tommy? We're not playing on my server today, Maverick. If you're wondering where he is in chat, I don't know where he is. Can you trade it for an M1? Uh, I don't have the fame points for it. I 
Have I ever played? Have I ever played any of the Fallout games? Cole, I've played every single Fallout game apart from Fallout 76. I like Fallout 4. I also like all the mod packs and the. What are you giggling about, Fudo? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, Miss Kitty? Wouldn't you like to know? Right. We're almost at the trader. How about you, Fudo? You crazy. You call me an Irishman, Chris? You just call me an Irishman? I'm not from Ireland. Get yourself on. I don't have the fame points, guys. I don't have the fame points. If I had the fame points, I'd be able to get any gun. What kind of wood do you have to hand it? Ooh. Oh. Rieger, what are we talking about? Straight swap on weapons is not available for traders, but you can you can sell for credits towards if you have others willing to trade in the server. Yeah. I'm not wanting to put out a broadcast to say that, um, you know, I've got a DMR. Because I don't want anybody camping outside of the, the trader that I'm going to. Because that can help. That can happen. I know, I'm just messing with you. I know, Chris. I know. I know. I know, man. <laughs> right, I'm just going to go prone here. Have you seen the series on Hulu? It's pretty cool. You mean the one on Amazon Prime? I've got Amazon Prime. I've yet to watch it. I might watch it when I go to my bed. I might watch it when I go to my bed. I might just start the first episode when I go to my bed. Axes. Good. Good. Talking about all the cool things, Rieger. <laughs> Talking about all the cool things. Right. <laughs> I have all the Fallout games, but only fault, but only played four. I got them in a Steam deal. It was for one price. Oh, you got a whole, like a complete collection, Chris. You got a complete collection. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Prime. Sorry, it's a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my parents are watching it at the moment. They were telling me about it. <laughs> they were telling me about the Yalgoi. Uh, throwing about the, the 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 Brotherhood of Steel guy. So, I mean, that's all they've told me. Like, I've like genuinely, I've not seen it, but I already know the story and I already know the characters. I already know what's going to happen, and we've also got the ghoul as well, which is awesome. Right, we're almost there. We've almost made it. Yeah, it was a bundle price. Awesome. I like Fallout 4. Fallout 4's um, settlement construction system is amazing. I love building settlements where you can actually see um, other like other AI interacting with the with the things that you place down. If you play New Vegas, you get a heads up on the next season on the TV series. Yeah, there you go. See, that's what I like. Why couldn't they just do that for the Witcher? Instead of being rats and telling Cavill to disappear. Or not telling him to disappear. He had to disappear. I had to kind of leave it because, like... Why would you ruin that? Like, obviously there were some things about, like, the Witcher that weren't amazing. Some of them weren't, like, too, like, lore standard. They weren't really canon or anything like that. But... Everything about it, like, Cavill makes Geralt really good. He, he, he acts with him really, really well. We need you to get into Ark, Feudal? No. I want to see you run from raptors? No. No. I've played Ark. I, I, I PvP stress tested Atlas. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm so sorry, man. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing Ark. I can't do it. I can't play that game. I just cannot do it. Do you know what it reminds me of? Reign of Kings. Legit reminds me of Reign of Kings. If you've ever played Reign of Kings, you'll know what I'm talking about. Seven Days to Die is okay. The graphic side of things is a wee bit is a wee bit a bit of a deterrence for me. I'm not saying that graphics make a game good, but my god, that game's graphics fucking are so jarring. Where the 
fuck's the bank? Did I just run past it? Oh, it's here. Welcome to the most secure place on the island. Uh, yes. No. Smith. Cool. Did I get my card? I got my card! Woohoo! Now to sell some stuff. Now to sell some goods. Armory. Oh, it's on the other side. No, where the fuck's the armory? I'm just gonna look at the fucking signs. I'm gonna armory that way. Oh, it's right there. I ran past it. Hi from Flor Florida. <laughs> Love the scum seeds. Thank you very much, Michael. Right, sell. Kidding. Nobody cares. My character's hunching over like. <laughs> you know what? We'll just, we'll just jar that straight into my bank. There we go. Uh, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these because if I find a Garand, it'll be okay. Oh, yes! <laughs> there we go. The gameplay makes up for the graphics. I know, I, I know, I know. I know, I know, but I can't get over the graphics. I can't, I can't look at it and go, this is good, and then I'm like, Ugh. Part of me kind of dies. Loaded. Security reasons. Uh, weapon cleaning kit, we don't need that. Miscellaneous, don't need any of that. Charms, definitely don't need any of that. Explosives? Oh, okay. Downloaded, or are you agreeing with me? Wait, what? Oh, Wookie, is Phil currently making your axe there? Chef Owen, cheers, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. What can I sell? Oh, my God, man. Right. Oh, you're talking to Volk. No problem. All good. All good. All good. Oh, I didn't sell the, uh, the Mosin runes. Actually, tell you what, I'm going to hold on to the Mosin runes. I'm going to hold on to them. I'm gonna put them down there. Hold on to them. And I'm going to make an improvised, uh, sewn kit here. I know. I know, Volk. I know. I know. I'm just, I'm just saying... Like, part of it is just like, ah, come on, man. Oh, pick that up. Right. What am I doing here? What is my plan? What is my strategy? <laughs> what is my strategy here? What am I trying to do? I'm at the trader. I've got my money down. Do you think I should buy some gold? Do you think I should try and aim for a gold? How much do I need for a gold card? Fishing. Bank. How much is a gold card? Greetings, valued customer. Uh, my cards. <sighs> Ooh, it's five Gs. It's five Gs. I don't have. I don't have five Gs. I do not have five grand. <laughs> not to drop right now. Right, I'm gonna go with the general goods. See if I can get rid of more of this stuff here. I might get rid of my jacket actually. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to. Let's see what you have. 
Ugh, you're a creep, man. You're a creep. Yeah, let's get rid of that needle. Make a jacket. 4,700. Pretty good. Do I have anything else that I can sell them? Uh, no. <laughs> hold on, hold on, guys. There we go. Cool. Gives you a two-digit pin number and you can buy and sell gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the thing about gold in this game, gold can be used to respawn back at your base depending on how the server's set up. But if there's a partial wipe, a partial wipe basically makes it so the... Uh, it basically makes it so... The, the map refreshes, but your character still retains its attributes and its skill levels. It wipes the account balance, but the gold balance stays. So if you're doing a partial wipe and you've got gold, you'll still have gold going back in. There you go. Right! Now that I'm here... Chat, where do we go? Do we go south to the, the bunker? Do we go over to... Uh, Novogord? Over in Zulu 2? Or do we go over to this town in Zulu 3? I'll let you guys decide. So, we can go to the town in Zulu 3 or the town in Zulu 2. You guys decide. You you guys choose for me. Because I think I've got time to go a wee adventure. Are we going Zulu 3? Novogard? Novogard? <laughs> Bunker! So, 1, 2, 3, 4 for Zulu 3, 5 for Zulu 3, 6 for Zulu 3, 7 for. Right, okay, we're going Zulu 3. Fuck it, we'll go Zulu 3. We'll go Zulu 3. You need screwdrivers? I don't have any. I'll find screwdrivers in the town, though. I'll find screwdrivers in the town. Where's the best loot down there? Hmm. Don't know. Usually the best loot in the Zulu sectors is usually the train yard, the torpedo factory. Uh, occasionally you can get quite good stuff in Novogard. But this place is usually quite fun to go to anyway. So, hold on. I'm gonna quick, like, make something here if I can. I'm gonna cook up this chicken. Eat the chicken and then we'll dip and we'll go to the town. That's what we'll do. To that. Uh, craft tinder. Oh, Farmer Slum, there is a vet, there is a point to doing a bunker without screwdrivers because there's still loose loot kicking about. It doesn't matter if it's if it's locked containers or not. I mean to get into abandoned bunkers, sure, but I'm sure there's a there's a standard bunker cut, cutting about here somewhere. In fact, I know there is. Because it's right there, Alpha 2. Still got your card? Yeah, I've still got my card. There we go. I want to... Oh, I need to light it. Hold on. <laughs> Craft. Eat it raw? Ah, yeah, sure. Uh, 
and light fire. Chop. Ah, but Farmer Slim, this is vanilla loot. There's no, there's no guarantee I'll find anything in them. There's no guarantee. Like, zero guarantee. Uh, meat skewer. There we go. There we're good. There we're good. We're good. Wow, this is going to take a minute because my cooking skills so low. You know what? I'm going to chill here. I'm just going to chill out. Chicken drumsticks. <laughs> there we go. Chill out time. We we'll just have to wait for our stuff to get cooked. Another 50 and odd minutes. I remember in your solo series you got stuck in one of those houses and died to let 15 puppets down in the Zulu series. Yeah, 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 yeah. Luckily enough, this is not my server, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that at all. Also, that's a good screenshot right there. That's a good little screenshot there. You'd never. I've been. To, I've been to a few abandoned bunkers. I've been to a few. Now for the most important question: Have you ever eaten a banana and some feudal brand battle beans at the same time? Yes, I have. Yes, indeed, I have, Mister Nielski. Yes, I have. <laughs> I've seen feuds in an abandoned bunker. It's funny. Hey! You trying to say I'm bad at this game? <laughs> I have done a few abandoned bunkers. I do them with uh, I do them with friends. Um, a couple of my... You know, the lads. Everybody knows the lads. My, my real-life friends. Um, the ones that I can go down the road and actually speak to and go drinks with and stuff like that. Um, I got them into scum. I got them doing abandoned bunkers and... Oh my god, you've never heard people scream just like that. It's appalling sometimes the things feudal will eat. Wookie, listen. Don't come for me. Do not come for me. I'm not going to have that. Oh, in my settings, it's almost, it's, it's impossible. On my settings, it's genuinely impossible to do. I don't care how skilled you are, I don't know, I don't care how long. Casual's an amazing creator, yeah. <laughs> I'll be, I actually went fishing with him lately, before I ask my question, how old are you, Fido? 30. I'm 30, pal. Yeah, Casual's a good guy. I'm going fishing with him again soon, as well. He might even have a video about it. I might even have a video about it. You never know. Be a good laugh. Going fishing again. We actually went fishing lately. And I was the only one to catch a fish. I, I caught a wee brunie. On a Rapala countdown. A wee miniature Rapala countdown. Dead good. Fucking loved it. So good. I was the only one that caught a fish that day. But everybody was happy. It was a day out. Out in the wild. By the river. Having a good time. Right, come on, meat skewers, hurry up, man. And, uh, Farmer, you're not wrong, it is getting night time as well. I can tell it's getting night time because the, the bloody insects are chirping away.
I may have to be quick about this. These are going to be poorly cooked, but I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I don't, I don't care if they're poorly cooked. It's just, it's still meat. It's still food. Oh, you remember... Oh well, if you remember, are the schools over there great play as great as people say they are, or are they just as bad as they are everywhere else? Depends. Um, my... Uh, the curriculum, or the way that schools work when I was at school, is completely different to what they are now. Um... I'd say you need me and your squad feudal to cook for you. Rigor, I need you to cook for me regardless of like where I am. <laughs> I need you I need you to cook for me regardless of where we are. It's always good. you're the cook here. You are the cook here. I, I, I bow down to you. Um but I call they're no um they're not great. College is better. Col the college uh, college life here is a lot better. Because uh, colleges can put you in placements. Colleges are a lot more one-to-one. -one. Uh, they all they also give you your independence to kind of do stuff. Universities, it depends on where you go. A university here, um, some of the big ones, uh, Glasgow, uh, Glasgow University, Caledonian University, Strathclyde, um, I suppose Edinburgh University as well. There's quite a few, there's quite a few here, but they've all got their benefits, they've all got their, um, the thing that they specialise in. For example, Strathclyde and Glasgow are very technical based, lots of chemical uh, students go there, a lot of like, you know, doctors, pharmaceuticals, um, engineers, as I said it's technical, so there's a lot of engineering, a lot of landscaping, a lot of like kind of architectural kind of jobs, surveyors and things. I'm hoping to catch some nice pike and sturgeon this year. I'm on the pike hunt right now. And I'm also on the search for some salmon, some silver salmon. That's the sound of frogs, not insects. Then this whole fucking island's covered in frogs then. And that's the sound of a fucking in insect. That's a grasshopper rubbing its legs. Right, I'm going to try and make it. In fact, I need to double check the time, actually. Ooh. Hmm. Ladies and gents, we might have to... Um, we might be cutting this short tonight because I did start later on. I started an hour late today, which means I'll be, I'll be ending at my usual time, which is in about 30-odd minutes. So I'm hoping we can try and make it to this town in that time. Everybody needs to go fishing, Tyler. Everybody needs to go fishing. I'll be getting a few fishing videos out as well. Yeah, it's a cricket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking frogs. <laughs> ah, but Gary, that's a cricket. This is this this is Cro this is a Croatian island. This is, that's definitely a cricket. Right, I'm hoping we can make it to this uh, this town. I'm really hoping we can make it to the town. Right, there's the there's a the road. That sound is nothing like the French. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I knew it was coming. I knew I knew he was gonna say something. That's our Wookie. That's our Wookie. Oh Mickey, you'll see more fishing videos, don't worry about that. You'll definitely see more fishing videos. But yeah, I'll need to nip off at half past ten guys, which is in twenty-five odd minutes. Only because I want to get in my bed tonight. I actually want to get 8 hours sleep or 7 hours sleep. Because <laughs> I'm going to my work tomorrow. It's a Sunday night. Tomorrow's Monday. 
I feel bad for all the Canadians once all those cicadas hatch this year. <laughs> All right, we're in the town. That only took us a couple of minutes. We'll go this way, and we'll see if we can try and hit up the uh, the what do you call it? The uh, the police station. If you don't have some fishing videos on his YouTube channel, I'm not sure he's categorised them appropriately though. I called him fishing with feudal. There's a playlist called fishing with feudal. You want me to go get it? I can go get it. I can go pull it up. Hold on. Let me pull this up. I'm sure I've got a... I'm sure I've got one that's called Fishing With You, though. Playlists. Uh... Yeah, there it's there. Yeah, Fishing With You, though. There you go. That's the entire playlist of Fishing With You, though. There you go. Oh my god, that was two years ago I made that video. Two years ago I made that video. <laughs> That's cool. No problem, Dragonheart. No problem, man. I'm here to entertain. Entertain and engage. I'm gonna go to the PD first. See if we can find anything. We're just gonna avoid those for right now. Cicadas come out sev every seven years, I think. To think. I feel bad for the ones that come out a year late and miss out on their fun time. <laughs> ah, it's just the way of life. Ah, it's just the way of life. You wake up and you can't bone. <laughs> Oh, Billy, is that a steam key for the, 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 the Scum Charms pack? Oh, dude. Ladies and gents, if you grab that key, you can redeem it on Steam. You can get yourself a Charms pack for free, courtesy of Billy Big Bollocks. Thank you very much, Billy. I didn't even realise that you were going to do that there. Woo! That was a big, that was a la that was one hell of a lag right there. Woofed. That was some lag. I'm gonna drop into this bush here and get some stamina back. Oh. Oh, that's right. I did it. I forgot to take my creatine today. I'll need to do that later. I'll need to do that before I go to my bed. <laughs> Gotta be a wake up. All night. Right, run, 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 run. Oh shit! Oh, get in the bin. Get in the fucking bin. Get in the fucking bin. I can roll back at you, you rat. Get in the bin. <laughs> Wolf's a very, very well educated man. He may have random information, but he's a very well, he's a very educated person. Right, let's see what we've got here. We've got a pot, we've got, ah, tomato. Let's go. I like tomatoes. Tomatoes are lovely. Ooh, garlic. Open sesame. Hop. Whee. Right, let's see who's home. Nobody by the looks of it. Nobody's home. See what I mean? Vanilla loot. There's no guarantee you'll find anything out of those locked containers as well. It could be just, it could literally just be nothing. Ooh! 
Wolf is old and has been around the world a number of times with a couple of degrees in military training and in <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Fair enough. Billy Big Box, have you watched the Fallout on Prime yet? <laughs> Thanks for the two, dude. Uh, no, but I will be watching it before I, before I go to my bed tonight. Or I'll be watching it as I'm going to my bed tonight. Uh, for sure. I'll be definitely watching that. I'll definitely be watching it. I want to start it. I'm a big fan of the Fallout, uh, the Fallout games. I might... Guys, do you, do you want me to just, like, start a Fallout 4 series? <laughs> just just, just because I can? Because I love Fallout. Fallout's a great game. I love the guns. I love the, the bolt-action rifles. They're so good. Remy 700. <laughs> Lag spike delayed puppets? Probably. Most probably. That seems to be where the lag originates from. It seems to be coming from... a. Uh, from the spawning of additional puppets. Uh, if I do... Oh, yes. If I do a... Uh, a Fallout 4 series, what I might do... What I might do is I might deploy a mod over the top of it. I might deploy a mod over the top of it. Um, because there are quite a few cool mods out there that make the game interesting. That make it more deadly. So, hold on, let me just Google this. Uh, Fallout 4 mod pack. There's quite a few. Uh, that, is that what I think it is? Is that a stalker mod for mo for Fallout 4? Or lo oh, Lost World mod pack! Lost World, Fallout 4... Lost World. Oh, guys, this looks so c This is just Stalker. It's just Stalker. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool as hell. Lost World looks cool. But I would, I would probably, um... I'd probably just start Fallout 4, like, partially modded. Uh, maybe a randomizer mod. Maybe... Maybe a loot table change, something like that. Something, something to make it a little bit more interesting. Scum is awesome, but the generic spread for other games like that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Again, Scum's my main, my main game. Scum's, Scum's my game. Scum's my game. I say it's my game. It's everybody's game, but it's my, my, my type of game. But I do enjoy playing other games. I like FPS shooters. I love. I mean, I liked, I loved stock, uh, I loved uh, Tarkov at one point. I still occasionally will play it, but not a lot. Oh, locked, huh? There might be a, might be a wee someone in there. If you start the series tonight, you're not getting any sleep. Why is it brutal? I don't mind gore. I'm, again. I'm, I should make everybody aware of this. Like my music taste is, my music taste is black metal, like death metal, that kind of thing. I don't mind looking at things that are grotesque and gory. It it doesn't really phase me that much. The fridge is probably full. Is <laughs> a wee pink bag? A wee pink bag? Basically, the difference is it's got a stalker vibe, but all you got the enemies are from Fallout. Makes it diff makes it. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, for God's sake, Chris! <laughs> You're a contribution for your miniature collection. <laughs> oh, dude, what? Oh, you didn't have to, Chris. You didn't have to do that, man. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get a hashtag Chris Reigns in the chat, please? Can I get a hashtag Chris Reigns in the chat, please? Because that man just dropped a 50 on me for no reason. Man's a psycho. Oh, it's really dark as well. Hold on. There you go. There's a filter. There's a filter for you, ladies and gentlemen. Now you can actually see. Dude. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> I'm going to sound like a prick here, but like... There's a link in my description, dude. It says, do you want to help me build a, a Warhammer army? It's right there. All you have to do is use that. 
but thank you nonetheless dude that's very very nice yes more plastic crack yes plastic crack enabler yep mm-hmm 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 <laughs> plastic crack enabler yes yes yeah i know i know i know i know lads i can't help it i like i like warhammer i can't help myself it's fun i like painting no worries thanks for thanks for all you do <laughs> I just make videos, dude. I just make videos and talk to folk. That's all I do. But thank you very much, dude. That's very... I very much appreciate that. Right, we're going to eat these dates. Mr. Fury, have you considered a 3D printer to print models? I don't have the space for a 3D printer, dude. If I did have the... Sp if I had the space for it, I'd be 3D printing... Um, not necessarily the models, but lots of little trinkets. Lots of little, like, purity symbols. Additional guns. Uh, probably 3D print uh, some terrains and stuff like that for the for the bases and stuff like that, but uh, not necessarily the models because I'm gonna come out here and be like the pure anomaly of the the, the kind of Games Workshop fans and stuff like that. I'm like I understand that some of the stuff that Games Workshop does is kind of predatory and stuff like that. Hold on a second. No, no, not M4 glitter. Get the hell out of here. We don't know who that is. Fucking buff M Dev. Yeah, there we go. There we go. No judging, I've gone through almost two dozen armies. Oh. <laughs> the thing is, I really want to build a... I'm building my Sons of Horus right now. That's what I'm currently doing. I'm currently magnetizing quite a few Sons of Horus and stuff like that. M4 Glitter. His first name's Gary. <laughs> but yeah, I'm building, I'm currently building a Sons of Horus. Uh, Sons of Horus army, but I really want a Loyalist uh, World Eater army with the blue and the white and the gold. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. The gore isn't what you should be worried about. It's the fact that you literally don't want to stop watching after you start it. Ah, that'll be like me with uh, when I started watching Vikings when it came out. When I watched uh, Vikings... <laughs> when I watched Vikings, I couldn't stop watching it. I got up to season four and I was like, nah, not doing this anymore. Feudal, you need to look at one page rules. One page rules. One page rules. 3D print tabletop miniature games. Ah! Age of Fantasy, Regiments. Ah, alright, okay. Oh, these look pretty cool. Yeah, these look pretty cool. Uh, Grimdark Future. Grimdark Future. What we got? Ooh, the f samurai looking guys. Download the rules, build your army, start collecting. Hmm. One to two players, models needed 30 to 50, playtime is 60 to 90 minutes. Alright. Okay. Jacob's Path, Gang Wars, Maximum Threat, All Out Assault. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. I mean, if I get a 3D printer, I'll definitely have a look into it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to clock off here and we're going to call it a night because I need to go to my bed relatively soon. I'm going to be watching some Fallout because I, I can't... Naughty Kitty joining the mercenaries. Thank you very much, darling. Thank you very much. Welcome to the mercenaries. You didn't have to do that. We find it more balanced than Warhammer uses a cut of the a lot of the same models. Fair enough, yes. Fair enough. I just I just like Sons of I just like the Horus Heresy. I just like the Horus Heresy. Lately, I've been re rereading Istvan Three and Istvan Five, the Drop Site Massacre and the Betrayal. It's all good. It's all, it's all fucking tee hee. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah. <laughs> uh. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for me tonight. I'm just going to quickly log out of here and probably call it a night. I hope you've all enjoyed it. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm sorry that I started a little bit earlier or a little bit later. Um, it's only because I was busy and I needed to go a walk and kind of digest a lot of stuff because I had to do a catch up today. <laughs> Fucking tee hee. Fucking. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go away and watch some Fallout, guys, and 
most likely stay awake for another two hours for no unbeknown reason. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Anthony Hutt. Oh. Anthony, 32 months in a row, man. What a king. What a king. Thank you very much, dude. And at the end. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Uh, I will be continuing the uh, the multiplayer series throughout the week. I will also be including single player as well. Uh, I'll look into Fallout 4 and see what I can do in terms of modding. I'll certainly certainly consider a series on it because I I love Fallout 4 and this and that and watching this uh, Fallout uh, series on. Um, Amazon will most likely boost my 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 need to do it on the channel. Anyway, folks, hope you all have a lovely night. I'll see you all another time. <laughs>